Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So my 6 GPU AMD mining rig is finally back up, fully operational with the new motherboard in. I'll be showing you that here in a second. Um, also, I'll show you each of the pools I'm involved with, exactly what I'm mining, and we'll also look at my NVIDIA rig and what it's doing, all right? So with that, be back in a bit. Okay, real quick before we go on, guys, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. Uh, yes, even in this down market, I'm still giving away Bitcoin, although I don't know how much longer that's going to last, especially if Bitcoin keeps dropping. So in any event, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when you can enter to win. All right, guys? So let's get in a short little video I had shot with my phone, and then we'll go check out the pools in the NVIDIA rig. Okay, so the new motherboard is finally in. Um, all GPUs are working now, and I'm pretty much right at where my old um, hash power was of about, I think it's sitting right now. Look, here's the monitor. Well, 117 right there, anywhere from 115 and a half, I guess, to 117. It jumps around a little bit. So here's the old motherboard. You can see how nice and dusty it is. So right here, bad M.2 slot, and this PCIe slot was bad. Other than that, it still works. Um, so maybe uh, in the future, if cryptocurrency goes back up, you have a nice bull run. Uh, I'll get some more cards. I'll fill out that NVIDIA rig in the other room. And then maybe I'll start filling this one up. Because I can still get five cards off of it. So I'm going to put this back in the box. Uh, the new one came in. And um, just let it sit there on the shelf and wait. But you guys see how dusty this board is. This thing's been here, I don't know. Four or five months now I've been running this thing. I haven't cleaned it once, which uh, isn't good. So I brought my air compressor in and I blew all the cards out. Um, so they're no longer dusty. Cleaned everything up. So all the dust, for the most part, is off of them. Um, the CPU fan was really dusty. Still has a little bit. Well, maybe that's just the way it is, but yeah. Anyways, it was really dusty, so blew it all out. It's up and running now. Um, we're right here, yeah, 116.3, so it does bounce around a little bit. Um, mining Ethereum Classic now. I might as well show you real quick overclocks. So the 580, 1250, 2250, all the 560s are the same, 1150, 2100. And 570 I have right now at 1250, 2250. So it's coming right along right now and it's doing good. So no complaints. I'm happy. Back up my to my pretty close right at my original mega hash uh, before the lightning destroyed. Well, not fully destroyed, but before it took this rig or the um, motherboard down. But Anyways, let's uh, hop into the computer and we'll see what else is going on. All right, so as you can see, I am at the house again and not in my truck. So it's proof again that I do live in a house. All right. So mining pool hub, mining Ethereum Classic with that AMD rig that you just saw. Um, it's only showing 86 mega hash on the hash rate again. If you have any experience with pools, it, it jumps around a little bit. Um, I'll come back maybe in an hour, and this will be 140 or something. But from the video you just saw, it's 116, 117 on that um, AMD rig. Um, so it should go up here in the next 24 hours, I guess, at least as far as the pool showing, because I finally did get that one card up and running again. 
uh, subscriber pool. Um, show you my wallet mining micro Bitcoin with the Nvidia rig. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to mine micro Bitcoin. Um, sitting at 7,462 uh, coins earned right now. Not a whole lot, but I may go till 10,000. Uh, get about, you know, and even 10,000, I think I might do that. And then maybe switch my NVIDIA rig back over to my Ethereum Classic. And my CPU on that NVIDIA rig is mining Stellite right here. It's only getting 151 hashes. Uh, but if you scroll down, I've gotten 43,081 coins to date. Now, I did about a month ago, almost a month ago now, I did mine with that full NVIDIA rig with the 1070 Ti and the 1060 and the CPU. And that's how I got a bunch of these coins here initially. But as I'll show you here in a bit, um, the CPU is getting me three to 4,000 coins a week on a CPU alone. So that's doing good. All right, here is my NVIDIA rig. Uh, MSI Afterburner got that up. 1060 is right there. 1070 Ti is right there. So here's Micro Bitcoin. Got about 61.6 mega hash on Micro Bitcoin. Not a whole lot, but it is giving me a lot of coins. And here's Stellite. Uh, let me hit hash. That says highest 177, average about 147. Uh, let me see results. 6,053 good results. No bad results on the CPU. So that is humming right along. So that rig's doing fine. No complaints for that. So now let's jump in, pull up the old spreadsheet. Uh, so far this week, 2,834 Stellite, 3,618 micro Bitcoin. Um, about four dollars worth of BTC. I was mining earlier in the week. I was mining Monero, converting it to BTC. Uh, Ethereum so far this week only two dollars and fifty-eight cents, uh, giving me a grand total of thirteen dollars forty-five cents um, for the week in a completely garbage down market. Micro Bitcoin, I did knock it back to point zero zero one five. Nine three. If you watched my last video yesterday, it should be popping up. Um, Binance uh, had it speculatively um, shown at fifteen and a half cents, almost sixteen cents, and um, there's just no way that's going to be right. I figure when it comes out, it's probably going to be right around there. Um, that would be about a fifteenth of a penny. Uh, there are two hundred and ten billion uh, total market supply, I believe, on micro Bitcoin. So I don't see that being 15 to 16 cents. Um, maybe if they're lucky, it will hit a penny, but right around in this range, anywhere from 15% of a penny to about 50% of a penny would be my guess when it comes out. But even at 15% of a penny, that would be um, $5.77 this week on micro Bitcoin. Give me a grand total, like I said before, 13.45. Total value mine, $564.95. Uh, barely up from last week, about $11. So all in all, it is depressing to mine in a down market, but I am holding all these coins. Um, if I was a D-type, that seems like a decent amount of people are out there. If you're mining and selling, yeah, you'd probably be shutting your rigs off right now because um, you wouldn't be making anything. But I'm eating it right now. I'm paying the electricity cost, mining these coins and holding them and hoping like a lot of us uh, in the future that crypto goes up and we'll see these gains shoot up dramatically uh, when that does. Okay, guys. So I guess that's going to be it for today, guys. Remember, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you like the video, hit that like button. I'd appreciate that as well. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, guys? So with that, 
I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.